Bob and Brad Howdy folks, we're the Bob and Brad crew. I'm Alex. I'm Mike. And we're offering product reviews directly related to your health, fitness, and overall well-being. You move too much. I didn't get your, oh, I got your temperature. Do you have actually. a concealed carry for that 97. thing? 97.2. Where are we? I'm Mike. In a, our unbiased. In our unbiased opinion, of course. <laughs> I don't know if you said your name before or not. But I don't know either. Fast, easy, convenient temperature checking. The non-contact infrared thermometer. This thing is popular. It is. And in the days of COVID, well, it's important, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much every place that checks your temperature for you go in, like hospitals, nursing homes, etc., has one of these. Sure. Maybe not this brand, but yep. same concept. A thermometer, you're saying. Yes. Yep. All right, the price, $25.99. Not Which, too bad. No, not too bad for a thermometer. I do have, like, a basic oral one over here. Um, I did compare them. Uh, we'll do a comparison here, too, as well, just to see if it's consistent reading. This thing was like 10 bucks. You said that's oral, right? This is oral, not All right, rectal. Oral. All right. Selling points. It is equipped with a microchip sensitivity sensor that detects infrared heat uh, given off by your forehead, and it reads in less than one second. So what he's trying to say is it checks your temperature. Very fast. Um, it's recommended measuring at a distance of one to five centimeters from the surface. It can measure surface temperature or, you know, human temperature, so yep, you just your forehead. Can pick uh, different settings on the thermometer itself. Do you uh, have to do it on your forehead or do you, can you do it? You can do it on other body parts oh, okay. and just see, I guess, see what the accuracy is. Just curious, sorry. Um, stores up to 50 readings in the memory and you can also switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit pretty easily on sure. this. Sure, and as I said, you can also you know, take the temperature on surfaces. You just switch the mode real easy from body to surface. So yep. Mike said he was taking temperature of his wall at home. and I <laughs> I just did this one. It was at 72 point something. I can so. imagine it's the same temperature as the room. <laughs> yeah, pretty similar. Yeah. Ratings. It got 4.6 out of 5 out of 31,647 reviews on Amazon. I bet that's thanks to COVID, I would say. <sighs> yes, a lot of people have purchased this. Negatives. Oh. Um, it's not rechargeable, but... It, but it does come with two AAA batteries. So. Yes, that was nice. Apparently it used to not, and a bunch of people complained in the comments, and now it does. Yep. Uh, some people said it wasn't consistent when compared to a different thermometer. Um, people tested at home and said, this was so inaccurate. I didn't feel good. I tested it. I went to the doctor, and then I had a higher reading. And then I'm like, well, did you test it right before you went to the doctor? Because you can change within a couple hours. But and you can, you can also just, you know, test with this thing multiple times in a row to make sure it's Yeah, know, just make sure it's reading. consistent reading. And, you know, like you just said, some people said it's harder to test on yourself versus, you know, an oral therm oral thermometer. Obviously, you feel it in your mouth. Yeah. This one, you kind of, you don't really know you how far away from your head you are. You can see the readings or how far. I mean, I guess you could just put it on your yeah. forehead if you own it yourself, you yeah. know, don't have to share it with other people. It, that shouldn't be a big issue. Uh, some of the positives, it's easy to check multiple people in a very fast way and disinfect it. That's why these type of temperature readers are you know, normally seen in your clinics when you go in right away. Mm -hmm. And it gave the same temperature reading with the oral thermometer yep. as I tried Mike's oral thermometer and it was the same. <laughs> no, I didn't. Did you clean it off first at no, least? No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, they gave me the exact same reading, mm -hmm. so I found it very consistent. Um, it also has three color settings on the display screen. So what that means is it the background light will be green if mm -hmm. it you are at ninety nine. Show them quick. Green. You should be green. We I'm did, gonna shoot it up. We did screen them. It's green. I'm at ninety seven point five. So anything below ninety nine point one is green. Uh -huh. Anything between ninety nine point two and a hundred point five, which means you have a slight fever, is orange. And the display screen will be red if you have a high fever of a hundred point six or above. Red means stop. So stop going to work. I would yes. Say. So in order to switch it between Celsius and Fahrenheit, all you do is hold the set button. The button literally says set on it for three seconds. Does anybody actually change to Celsius? I don't know. People, people do in Canada and every other place besides the U.S. Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, all you do is either hit the mode or memo button. Um, so there's four different functions on it. The first function, F1, changes between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. uh, F2, you can set your high temperature. So what you want your high temperature to be at on here, you can set it to a number. Sure. Um, F3, function three, it just turns the sound on and off. So it'll either beep at you or it won't. And in F4, uh, you can send to your low temperature. So if you have a range, you know, for some reason that you want to be in between, um, like maybe your doctor tells you to look for things, or maybe you're prone to getting fevers, you can set your own way, you sure. know, whatever you want. Sure. 
This is this thermometer is a lot better than what my wife and I currently have at home. We have one of those thermometers for our kids where you have to put it on their skin, then you have to kind of roll it to their temple area. Oh, yeah. And you know, it's just very touchy if you don't press the yeah, button I'd, right. I'd imagine an aura one is pretty hard with little children. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, this takes a second, you just impossible. shoot it up, so shoot it up. You like <laughs> Shoot them. <laughs> All right. Subscribe to us. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Hit the bell for notifications when we put up a new video. Shoot them up. Phrase of the day. Thank you. The Bob and Brad Crew. The Bob and Brad Crew. The Bob and Brad